Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Today I want to share with you guys some of the most useful kitchen tools you can find at Dollar Tree for just $1.25. Your girl is not a chef, she's not a baker, but she does know how to cook. Alright y'all, without further ado, let's start talking about these kitchen tools. These knives look like they're made in China, but they're manufactured from Dollar Tree, like they're private label brands. A lot of the companies that you see sold at Dollar Tree are actually Dollar Tree products that they put under different names. I don't know how that all works, but I know Dollar Tree does that. They have a four pack of paring knives, they have a chef's knife and then they have this other one a santaku knife i have no clue i'm not going to try to butcher it no i want to test them out like initially without sharpening them but i thought maybe if you sharpen them would they be better so let's see now these knives compared to other kitchen knives that i have like there's not like a lot of weight in the handle which i don't know if that's a good thing it's basically like a just like a super cheap handle they're not like easily bendable i got some apples here just for testing purposes. So let's go ahead and peel and see how sharp it is. I think it's okay. Initially it's fine. I don't know how you test the sharpness of a knife, but of a knife. Okay, let's try to do a little chop chop. Mm. Can you see that? Hold on. doesn't slide very easily. Not bad. I don't know how to do this, but my husband showed me, I think. You really, it's really not taking like much effort. I gotta keep my eyes on the road because I will definitely be cutting off a finger. All right, that one, I, I actually really think these pairing knives are nice. This one is the Santuku or whatever the heck that's called. I don't know. I don't want to mispronounce stuff, but okay, let's give it a little choppy chop. Ooh. Ooh. Big daddy. Let me see. Definitely has like a much more thickness, like much more weight to it than the little paring knives. Cut nicely. Okay, let's sharpen it now. Okay, I don't know if that did anything, but we will try it. Good. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I like it. Let's try to cut a potato to see if that's better. Oh, nice. Since I cut the other one's apples, I'm going to try this one, okay? Oh, I don't know what kind of knife. Let me see. What's this one say? Chef knife. I like the other one better. I don't know what this one's doing. This one's a little bit. You definitely got to do a little more pressure. I actually feel like I like the other one better. Let's give it a rating. I want to just give it a rating so that you guys can know overall. I think these are good if you're just starting out, you know, like if you don't really know how to cook and you need a knife to chop an onion to cut up some, you know, I feel like this is going to do the trick. Now, if you have never had, I, and I haven't even had any good knives, but I feel like these knives kind of are a little bit better. Not crap, but doesn't slap. I would recommend, but there are much better options out there. One of my favorite kitchen tools to find at Dollar Tree is this chopper scraper. It's from Cooking Concepts. Basically, you can use it to pick up food and items that you've already diced. This thing can be used in so many different ways for cooking and for baking. It just has so many uses, but you don't realize how useful it is until you actually start getting in there and using it. So I definitely would recommend if you have not picked up one of these, pick it up and just keep it in your drawer. It's really nice to have and it does a fantastic job of like cleaning up messes. That's what I really like to use it for. 
So this Dollar Tree apple core is one of those things just like the scraper. You don't realize how useful it is until you actually have one. And this one probably isn't even the most best quality one that you can find out there. But I have it. I use it and it does the trick, especially for things like apple pie, like where you want them to be similar slices so that they cook evenly. This thing does the trick. So, But once it goes there, then you go push it down. And now you can take the core of the apple out and you have just the slices and it's super easy to do. Now I do wash this by hand. I wouldn't put this into the dishwasher and maybe that's why it's lasted because the plastic isn't getting like super duper hot. But it makes all of your apple slices similar in size and it's perfect once you peel them then you can just do this super duper quick and you can make apple pie. While I was making mashed potatoes, I decided to give the apple core a try to see if it would be easy to cut potatoes, and it was. It was super simple. It did make one of the ones in the center a circle, which was kind of fun, but if you're looking for a quick and easy way to dice some potatoes, give this a try. Another thing that I pick up at Dollar Tree all the time to keep in my kitchen are these toothpicks. These are so good to have, not just for picking out your teeth after you eat, but for cooking. If you're going to be doing brownies to put it into the middle, you can find them at Dollar Tree in a 500 pack or in this little holder. You can even use bamboo skewers. I feel like these are so, so good just to have on hand in case you need them. Another useful find that I see talked about a lot on TikTok in an Amazon must have is this meat chopper. This is great for ground beef or ground turkey for making tacos or pasta. It grinds the meat up super fine. Now, I definitely think it's a better deal at Dollar Tree for just $1.25 versus what you have to pay on Amazon is $7.99. I always want to try to save wherever I can, and if you see it at Dollar Tree, definitely pick it up there. Don't order it on Amazon. Another great Dollar Tree find are these oven mitts. They're silicone oven mitts that you can find for just $1.25 compared to the Amazon price. Absolutely not. At Dollar Tree, this would be considered a cheese grater. Now, I definitely don't consider this to be a grater, more of like a zester where you would do like orange zest or lemon zest. You're definitely not going to be grating a whole bunch of cheese, maybe some Parmesan cheese you could use this, like something light. But when it comes to grating cheese and using a cheese grater, you want to get one of those old school box graters, especially for things like mac and cheese where you're going to be grating a whole bunch of cheese. I don't mess around with this little guy, but I do really like him for lemon zest, orange zest, or Parmesan cheese, like right on top of pasta, like something that you're going to be using in a small amount. And it does a good job. Because of these plastic handles that I've talked about before, you don't want to put it into the dishwasher, or at least I don't like to put them into the dishwasher. I like to hand wash all of these. And it allows them to hold up a little bit better and to take less wear and tear. So if you see this at Dollar Tree, definitely pick it up. It's nice to have, especially if you like to cook pastas and stuff like that. Now recently at Dollar Tree, this is not something that I typically keep at my house, but I did recently see it at Dollar Tree. It's from the Shore Fresh brand. It's their reusable round bowl cover. Basically, it's uh, two. it comes in two different sizes. It'll allow for you to cover up your bowls. You can use this like if you lose a top to one of your little plastic bowls or if you want to cover up something and put it into the fridge. It has a nice amount of stick to it. The other ones that they sold at Dollar Tree was like a different brand. They didn't have as much stickiness to them so like they didn't fit on here really well. I think this would be good to use maybe some less plastic wrap maybe if you lose a top. I don't know it seems cool. I definitely like it. I think this one is a better size. I don't know what size this one would fit on but... If you see those, definitely pick them up. They seem useful. The next item is this lemon squeezer from Dollar Tree. This does a really good job for squeezing lemons and limes. Now they have some that are yellow and some that are green and you would probably think like one is for lemons and one is for limes, but they're both the same size on the inside. I've literally had these for years. I've had it where one of the handles have broken, so I've had to replace it, but it does a good job for making things like lemonade and iced tea if you're actually squeezing lemons. An essential at my house is parchment paper. I always have to have this. I pick it up at Dollar Tree. It's probably not the most practical place to pick it up, but I always use it for like lining your baking pans and all of that kind of stuff. It makes for like super easy cleanup. And for the holidays, like working with melted chocolate and all of that kind of stuff, parchment paper is literally the best in my opinion. And this is the one that I pick up. It's just what, 20... 20 square feet of parchment paper at Dollar Tree for $1.25. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoy hearing my thoughts on some of these Dollar Tree kitchen essentials. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe before you go. I would love to have you. And if you're still here, then you are a real one. 
leave some knife emojis in the comment section down below so I can know who made it to the end of the video. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I hope wherever you are, you are safe, happy, and healthy and doing amazing. And I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye, you guys.